Hello everyone and welcome back to Desktop Dungeons. So, I've been meaning to get back to this game and make videos for a long time now, I just haven't had, not, haven't had the time and energy and all that. Uh, and there's been some renewed interest in seeing videos of high level play for the game, so I figured... Well, I'm not in any stage to be making good, high, good, good quality videos of like for my playthrough or anything like that. Uh, I've pl it's been too long since I played the game. I'm going to make all sorts of bad mistakes, and like playing while recording is already harder than usual. So I figured let's just record the, the dailies as I do them. Um, so this is not. I'm not going to go back and like correct and edit these to add annotations or anything. This is mostly for fun and for. For, for me to get back into the game and get back into making these videos. Uh, but usually usually I find some way of make of like having fun with the daily dungeons since I'm never really competing for time. Uh, I'm way too slow for that. And the other categories, well, I'd have to min-max to actually like place anywhere on the leaderboards and I don't enjoy min-maxing all that much. So I'm just going to, you know, play through, try and have some fun, try and show some interesting things. And at worst you can laugh at my horrible mistakes and uh, let's have a look at what this is. Halfling Rogue in the Slime Pit. Okay. Halfling Rogue is interesting. Um, it's not super... Um... Sorry, what I meant to say is it's not super uh, synergistic, but that's all, that's all right. I mean, rogues are strong, halflings are strong, we'll be fine. Um, Let's see, Slime Pit is pretty tough. I'm, I'm eyeing the Earth Mother here because that's just a really good boss for that dungeon uh, in general. Since you you can add both Corrosion and use Clearance Spikes uh, to beat the Tower of Goo. And then uh, you'll have high enough health, damage resistance and again Corrosion to take on the Super Meat Man. Which uh, this, this is a dungeon with two fixed bosses. And obviously, Halfling Rogue does really well with the early health boost, uh, so that's very good. Entanglement to deal with the uh, first strikers, although I don't think there's any natural first strikers in this dungeon. I forget if there are random monsters that spawn as well. Uh, so Earth Mother is almost certainly going to be here. Alternatively, there's Glowing Guardian, but I'm a Halfling, and uh, I usually avoid halfling Halflings of Glowing Guardian unless I'm a Paladin. So I'm going to... I mean... That's not necessarily true. Halfling, halflings uh, can use Glowing Guardian and convert potions uh, and convert the potions they get from their conversion to get twice as much piety. But uh, I think Earth Mother here is just generally going to be better. And we c uh, no, that that doesn't do well at all. I might just not take any deities, or I might take the Crystal Ball and and either Dracula Glowing Guardian. Mm. Interesting choices here. What do we want? <laughs> Do we just want Binlor? Uh, Binlor, Halfling, Rogue, not so great. Uh, shield or tag boosters. Um, this could be good conversion early on, but we're Halfling, so that doesn't matter all that much. And we're getting damage reduction, assuming we're still taking Gear of Mother. Um, Troll's Heart is almost a given. I mean, Conjunction is also fantastic, but uh, for Rogues, Troll Heart is very nice. And, you know, as a halfling, then we'd benefit from it. Okay, uh, yeah, I think this is going to be, uh, this is my, uh, preferred choice. Um, and there's really, I mean, taking Jakul for, for desecration might be something to consider, actually, because, um, because, like, minus 20 HP when you have, like, a, a health-boosted, uh, uh, character isn't so bad. But the bloodless uh, actually also hurts the Earth Mother, so I think we're just going to ignore the, this this last three. Lots of lots of choices for deities, but I really like Rogues of the Earth Mother. So, I mean, the shield the shield is actually a consideration for early game uh, because the boosted health and additional uh, damage reduction can help us get a get a better kill. Um. Okay, so now that we spent way too much time considering this, let's, let's just stick with that. The shield may be better, but I don't feel like thinking about it anymore. This is my comfort pick, let's say. Let's go. Now, obviously, we have to be very careful with the Earth Mother. Ooh, sidestep. That's so good. Or rogue. We have to be very careful um, 
when we prep the Earth Mother because obviously, um, actually, hang on, let me just disable that setting because I. I don't want to, to have any accidents, I'm not used to using it. Um, obviously the double plant spawning means that we will most likely get uh, block ourselves off. So we have to be careful. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and worship her, we did pre prepare her after all. Um, fireball is going to be nice, let's just leave it here for now. Uh, I would petrify this to avoid the curse, but then it will block myself, so never mind. Alright. So, th that's one basic one basic problem with the Earth Mother in this particular dungeon, is that there are lots of choke points, so it's easy to block yourself off. But uh, we're gonna have to deal with that uh, regardless. Um, Tower shield, not really interesting right now. Uh... What's the stats on these? Okay, so for those, we'll want to stack some corrosion, I think. No plants yet. We may have to kill some random popcorn to explore, and we'll have to be uh, fairly comfortable with using clearance just to get rid of uh, plants that are blocking our way. When you prepare the Earth Mother, you have to accept that you'll be using some shots of clearance to make room. Um, that's just how it is. And already, we have what it takes to kill this. Very good. And we have what it takes to kill this because we have sidestep and we're rogue. So let's do that. Um, now, we need to get rid of, to, to open up some of these choke points, so one possible solution is to try and kill this, but that's a bit risky, because, um, because uh, if we run out run out of resources while trying to do it uh, we'll be sad we'll have wasted a lot um, let's see if I add a single layer of corrosion my fireballs will do 10 damage each and my attack will do 17 which means um, 37 that's not quite enough unfortunately uh, well it is actually if I uh, it is enough if I cast sidestep but I won't have an ah. Uh. Yeah, I think uh, I'll try and not risk it here. I'll uh, kill a single popcorn, open up, cast sidestep. Okay, good. Uh, getting out of this uh, little ri ring is always a concern in this dungeon. Okay. Now that we have a bit more briefing space, uh, let's cast a single fireball here. Oh wait, I. Okay, yeah, that, that's right, because I cast sidestep, so it's fine. Um, given that, can I see? Okay, given that, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, petrify this goo, I guess. Usually you prefer petrifying a level 1, but whatever. Okay, we're at 26 piety. I'm going to go ahead and uh, take a single shot of Vine Form just to boost us a little bit, and yeah, there you go, that's that's a concern, obviously. Um, cast Sidestep. Rock Heart is good conversion for, for Fodder at the very least. Um, let's use another one, I guess. Okay, and one thing we can do is petrify this one since once that one's out of the way it won't be bothering us and we still get uh, the experience boost. Um, usually after you've spawned a couple of plants you'll want to uh, use Ima Wall primarily on the uh, the plants. Now to tank another hit properly from this guy I will, we are going to need another vine form but as a rogue that's kind of expected. And there we go, okay. Oh, and we dodge. 
good we get to save some uh, We, we get to save some exploration for not having to get sites up. Uh, now the question is, is there any way I want to use my uh, available mana? And I don't think there is. I mean, I can petrify something, but I'll either only get piety or block my way on top of getting piety. So let's just level up with full mana. It's not great, but we could deal. And um, yeah, we have exactly what it takes to kill this level 6 as well. Do we want to petrify anything else? There is a potion underneath, I believe. No, I think uh, we'll be satisfied with killing this. Alright, so the good news is we've uh, got, we're already level 5 and we have most of the dungeon left unexplored, so that's a great start. Um, thanks to Earth Mother. Earth Mother is fantastic. Um, slightly inefficient. Uh, get in there, we'll most likely, most likely end up convert converted. I can kill this one. And I forgot to cast Time Wall, didn't I? That's too bad. Uh, and one consideration, even though I've already done it here, is that you want to avoid uh, casting I'm wall on plants that are almost blocking a choke point like like here if I cast I'm a wall here and then another one comes up here uh, it's unfortunate <laughs> to say the least uh, sometimes you have to but uh, you want to you want to keep that in mind nonetheless hmm no great targets oh cast sidestep I can cast Diamond Wall here, I guess. We're going to need to make some more way, I think. Let's open up up here. And obviously I've wasted uh, the I'm a Wall experience boost. And we have Tower of Goo here, that's nice. And just cast some Fireballs, I guess. Good mana booster. All right, got a friend here. Level eight might be worth considering. How much are we dealing for damage? Um, this is a point where we might want to consi consider to start using clearance. Um, basic, basically, since you're going to have to cast it occasionally to clear your way. Uh, you might as well use it to level up efficiently. It starts stacking some burning while we're at it too. An extra mana booster would be fantastic. Um, let's cast green blood once. It's not making a huge difference, but when you add it to burning, and if you're planning on using clearance, and you're going to be casting a lot anyway, so... Health boost. This guy does 62, so... Unless we're really willing to give us a bigger vine form health boost, which we really aren't, because it's a lot of piety and a lot of plants, uh, we're going to have to accept that uh, we can't tank a single hit from this guy. Ideally, we don't want to in the first place, uh, even though we can with sidestep because weakening is really bad for rogues. Well, for everyone really, but especially high damage classes like the rogue that rely on their damage. Okay. Okay. Yeah. These guys aren't like zombies. They don't have an immense health pool. Um, and this plant is actually fine to petrify as well. Okay, we're still doing fine. You always want to, um, when you cast a boon like that with your mother, especially when you prepare her, you always want to make sure that after you cast it, you'll have enough for clearance. Uh, or, or, or you're willing to take some corrosion, but that's, let's not do that. So. Um, 
Should we get started on this? Oh, that good for me. There we go. Thanks to burning and corrosion, uh, we were able to avoid taking a hit. Oh, and now all the meat men become poisonous, right? I'd forgotten about that, but that's fine because we're not really planning on... Uh, We're not really planning on Rajan fighting some meat men here anyway. Um, this guy might actually be a fine target. And he is. Let's just uh, petrify a plant first. I can afford to, do, to, to waste a bit of mana to check like that because we have so much exploration left. Although we do want to be careful because we'll, we will have to fight Super Meat Man. Who thankfully doesn't get poisonous like the other Meat Man. I mean, now level 6 could be a consideration to start fighting Tower of Goo, but um, we've got a ton of bonus experience already thanks to I'm a Wall, thanks to uh, our efficient leveling up, so like starting at level 7 is going to be make it easier and we won't run out of resources. Oh, and we dodge because we're lucky that way. Alright, now I'm going to kill this guy now. Because they start because the meatmen after a while not only become they not only do they become poisonous they also become uh, corroded and so their blood pool becomes a corrosion pool so it's annoying to explore past and corrosion pools don't count for plantation which is a good thing to remember um, incidentally I probably should have killed this slime blob before killing the meatman to clear the curse afterwards but it's fine because I'm going to be able to kill another popcorn anyway. And Super Meat Man is here. Good. It's good to know where that boss is early so that you can start regen fighting him earlier. Um, let's use some mana. This should be fine. And what's in this shop? Badge of Honor. That's quite nice. Um, this guy's never going to be popcorn, so we may just we may as well just kill him now and get some experience, get closer to leveling up. But Tupa was very nice for uh, Tower Goo, and in, in fact, it might even make it possible to kill it without any uh, level ups. Although I doubt that really, but uh, you know, it's good to keep in mind. Let's grab that, petrify that, grab the mana booster. Okay. Um, I don't see any level 8s, and I'd rather get this boss out of the way earlier so that we can start on Super Meat Man with a lot of black space left. So I'm just going to go ahead and kill these uh, weaker monsters. Um, we can level up on this guy, so it's all good, or this guy for that matter. Mm -mm. Okay, so let's get started. Um, ideally, you want to use Blood to Power to reveal tiles that don't have any ex accessible exploration in the first place, unless you're trying to figure out what's behind a monster in, in a narrow path, say. Um, and I think if we do this... No. Is it worth... If we explore another one, you give it nine, then we hit it. Yeah, it's totally worth. And that's not worth, obviously. I mean, we could probably, like, up regenerate him with both Blood to Power and Fireballs, but that's extremely wasteful exploration wise. You only want to do this if you can afford it, and we have Super Meat Man to fight, so we can't. Uh, right. Save clearance and such for. Uh, for um, <laughs> for later, if you can, I can still afford to do this. All oh, right, um, I'll be fine, and we can use our halfling health potions to use to continue with blood to power instantly if we need to. Clearance. In fact, yeah, let's uh, 
Let's alternate between clearance and uh, blood to power. We won't really be relying on clearance for Super Meat Man anyway. Oh, and we're uh, we're missing. Uh, okay. Okay, that tells me that we're out of plants, but that's fine. That means we have uh, more way to explore. We have an ammo here. We might as well just convert it on the spot. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and. Uh, Killed this meat man, so he gives me a blood pool, not and not a corrosion pool. And there's our level eight warlock that we'd have liked earlier, but that's fine. That's totally fine. Um. Now there's definitely a consideration to be made to to um, transition to Torog here for boosted damage. Um. Earth Mother isn't going to be that useful to us anymore. Uh, for this, we can just grab a bunch of... Uh, I mean, we've already gotten some corrosion. It's going to cost us quite a lot to get more. Right? Yes, right. And we can use the extra damage from Torog to more efficiently fight this guy. We will be, like, losing out on uh, Paidi when we cast Gliss, but that should be fine. Um... Oh, and obviously we might want to uh, buy Wupaz. Although the consideration here is uh, if we switch to Torog, uh, and we could desecrate Earth Mother, uh, and then use the Burn Self. Now, is that worth more than the Wupaz? I honestly don't know. Okay, and uh, obviously there's one last thing to consider too, and that's the fact that uh, if we use plantation to get enough piety to convert in the first place, we may be blocking ourselves off, and so we need to prepare for that. Uh, we just need to make note of where the blood pools are, so there's one here. I'm going to explore here. Okay. So that means we can pass here, so this one doesn't matter, but this one does. Okay, so these two are going to block us, block us off no matter what. Um, this is going to block us off, but um, we can kill this after converting, so it's good. And we can kill this after converting too. Uh, except that we can't because of that. So we're basically going to need to deal with some plants, no matter how we, no matter how we look at this. Um, and I think our best bet is to just roll with it, um, convert it into Torog, uh, kill a bunch of enemies, and right before leveling up, we can. Um, right before leveling up, sorry, we can clear all the plants, level up, and then uh, start continue fighting this guy. Um, I just need to make sure now that we'll have enough piety to convert after casting plantation once. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So that's 55, that's enough. Good, okay. And we can reach Tarog even after we cast plantation. Oh, <laughs> we, we do need, uh, we do need to cast this, right? So what do we want to cast it on? This guy? He's bloodless. Could be this guy too, but we don't know what's in that the way it's oh wow, okay. Um Yeah, let's cast it on this guy. This is a risk, but I'm willing to take it. Okay. And now we can freely kill all those plants. So I'll take this curse. Put this guy to get rid of it. Cast fireball here. Take this curse. Take another, but that's fine. And kill this guy. And this guy to get rid of those curses. 
Same thing here. Okay, I think we have access to, to the rest of the dungeon now, so we'll be able to efficiently take care of Super Meat Man. Um, and we have a ton of piety. And we can, uh, we can get some good items too. So we should be set. And we don't need to, to, to desecrate the from others, so I can just go ahead and buy a Wupass right away. Oh wait. Yeah, I forgot to do that. When yeah, when you cast plantation with the Earth Mother, make sure you sell the trophy first because the plant will cover it. And that might be annoying. So we have a plan here. Yeah, we can kill this guy. Convert him a wall because we won't be needing it. Get Torog's blade. That's a very nice boost in damage. Um, we'll keep Murderaz for the burning, but we'll convert Sidestep since we won't be casting this repeatedly. And uh, so we can take the armor. And with this, we may want to buy the tower shield for 25% re resistance, which is quite nice. All right. Uh, and after we level up once, we can sell. We can convert the troll heart, and um, and then buy something else that'll be useful, like the badge of honor or anything really. Cool. Right, level up. Oh, Rugrabble, That's actually a really good one. Better than Badge of Honor? Yeah, I think so. I mean, at this point, it doesn't really matter since we've basically won. But, uh. <laughs> and a spoon, sure. I'll take it. We have so much Pity, we can just cast Fireball whenever. Yeah, Regarble is really good <laughs> for, for cases like this. Because the damage keeps stacking, both for your physical attacks and for your fireballs. There we go. And we win. Okay, so that wasn't bad at all. Um, Slime Pits is always a tricky dungeon, but... Uh, do I want to be doing anything else here? Nah. I mean, I, I can go around and like try and kill everything and get high XP values and all that. Uh, but I'm honestly not too bothered by this. Um, and it's probably going to be boring to watch. So let's just leave with, a, with, leave with what we got. Alright. Let's see what everyone else has been doing. Yeah, obvious, obviously I really did not expect with my play to be anywhere high on the leaderboards. Oh, those are some impressive times. I, I could never compete with those times, I'm way too slow. I, I like to take my time. As you can probably tell, this video is already too long. Um, but yeah, so that was the daily of September 5th. Uh, Halfling Rogan in the Slime Pits. Let me know what you thought. If you enjoyed this, uh, feel free to point out all the horrible mistakes I've been doing because, like I said, I, I haven't been playing this game for a while, so my 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 play is not nearly as good as I want it to be. Uh, but hopefully this was interesting. Uh, maybe you learned a thing or two. Uh, let me know what you think. And uh, I'll probably see you tomorrow for the next daily. 